Closing the fridge, you attempt to stroll nonchalantly out of the thug's lounge with the big sloshing jar up in between your arm and your side. The thug in the bar casts a suspicious eye at you, which shales past you and goes rolling onto the floor, and then the poor eyeball rolls out the door. The thug immediately walks over, opens the fridge, and announces a sudden 50% drop in iced kidneys. The thug by the door grabs you as you sneak Yo, by. Yo, you trying to steal one of our stolen organs? As he shakes you, the sloshing sound grows very loud, and finally the thug hears it. He reaches into your collar, pulls the bottle out of his right hand, and with his left hand, shoves you across the floor. You stand, tuck in your shirt, and inspect a number of scrapes. The thug returns the kidney to the refrigerator and goes back to his post. Okay. I'm going to need something to replace that with. So, I'm going to go back to the restaurant and see if they have any disgusting, uh, disgusting plates that I can... I can uh, replace it with. That's the only thing that can work. I kind of remember that part because you, I think you can order like a kidney, like a kidney entree uh, or something. Ah, if it isn't the shakiest thug in the West. Forgive me, I'm basically a nice person. Then get out of that line of work. If I'm going to put my life into someone's hands, I'd like them to at least be competent. I'm a little afraid to say this, but I'm hungry. Well, we have some leftovers from lunch if you'd like something. Suppose it doesn't hurt to keep your wheels greased. If I recall, we have some salmon coquettes, some haggis, some snake and kidney pie. And for dessert, we have several flavors of gigolo and some very nice creme brulee. Let's see. So we're going to ask for the Make mine skank kidney and pie. kidney pie, please. An interesting choice, sir. Perry disappears into the restaurant for a moment and comes out with a jar containing I a kidney. I was mistaken. We have a leftover kidney, but the chef says we are not going to cut up our 20-foot anaconda just for one slice of pie. He hands a jar to you. It has a large human-looking human kidney, kidney, kidney floating in it. What do you care? It's free. If it's all the same to you, maybe I'll have this later. That's what I figured, so I put it into a to-go jar. Perfect. How convenient. So here's our lovely, lovely kidney. We can shake it. It's making sloshing noises. We can eat it. You don't think you could eat that whole thing, and if you can't finish it, don't start it. Alright, let's go back again to the underworld. And I'm going to just replace this kidney with the kidney that's in the fridge. Okay. Take your time. Open. Let's see. Um, put the kidney on the kidney. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be a suitable place to put the kidney on the kidney. The refrigerator door slams closed. Okay. Let's open. Let's take the kidney. No, I don't want to move back. Oh, wait. Oh, he already did replace it. But then you think. Okay. Alright, we've got the correct kidney, I think. Let's shake it. Okay, good. I think this is the correct kidney. So, let's go back to Rat's ass, give him his kidney, and then we can get the code, finally, to see the doctor and get the antidote. Oh, I'm, what am I doing? There we go. Rat's ass takes the kidney and shakes so it. So far, so good. He opens a jar and dumps the kidney into his hand. Turning it over, he checks the serial number engraved on the All bottom. All right, nice going, Ace. Rat's ass plops the kidney back into the jar and wipes his hand off the back of his pants. The goo beads off and beads up and Here's runs Here's how you remember it. Muffin, love, and lemon. Just remember muffin, love, and lemon. How does that help me remember anything? Pfft. It's easy. Muffin, love, and Two is M. Down. Three is M. Five is L. Eight is F or V. No, Ignore no, 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 no. the vowels. So you have... You take your pencil and write the number on the back of the recipe. Thank you. Don't mention it. You know, muffin, don't kid muffin. him about his hair. I He's very I sensitive. About it all I wouldn't have anyway. Already. Talk to me. About the guy upstairs. I'm supposed to be... I mean the... Oh? You're not backing out. I'm far from it. I already it's did. Easy. Give me the code Is again. It? Oh! 
Ah. Ugh. Fine. I, I hope that was automatically stored in, in our menu or something, because I, I think I clicked too fast. That's okay. We'll find out soon enough. Muffin love and lemon? Is that what he told me to remember? He was talking way too fast. Okay. So here's where I have to put the code in. So let's let's mess around with that. Oh, yeah, he remembered it. I didn't have to remember that. You punch the code, Ratatouss gave you into the keyboard, and you hear the elephant whir to life. When the elevator arrives, you swagger into it and turn to see the thug gaping at you. The doors close and the elevator begins to ascend automatically. After a minute, it stops and disgorges you from the la into the laboratory. Okay. In the center of this clean, busy laboratory is a tank large enough to three or four people. I think that's supposed to be four. Two, three, or four people. Or if engineered by Squish's race, may be part of your foot. The room is humming with activity, with all manner of mysterious chemical reaction, computation, preservation, and experimentation going on. Everyone is too busy to notice the arrival of you and your thought patterns. Save. Lab. Um, I don't think this... Is this the doctor? If it is, he doesn't look very menacing, does he? Cecil! His name I'm is working. Cecil! Cecil! Pardon me, I'm looking for the doctor. The doctor is tanking. Pardon me? Tanking. He's in the think tank. That little honey right over there. He gestures towards the... Towards the Le Bio chamber 4000 in front of him. Um... I have a friend who's having a critical reaction to Voyatrazine. I'm looking for an antidote. That's too bad. There's no such chemical. I've been told there's no doctor duplicitous either. Cecil clenches his jaw but refuses to respond. What are you working on? I'm maintaining the precise balance of environmental variables for optimal theta brainwave state, or any other state desired. And Brilliant. what's everyone else working on? Better living through chemistry. Hmm. Thanks for all the info. He turns back to his work. So basically, the doctor is in this tank here, I think. Yeah, the bio chamber. Le bio chamber. Let's what do you think you're doing? Opening this thing. I want to see what's inside. Well, the, there's somebody busy in there right now. Okay, I don't think Cecil's gonna let us. Here's a dork, dorky looking dude here. The assistant ignores you. Uh, let's see, here's like a fetus. You don't like sea monkeys. You can never resist telling them that they're, that they're only brine shrimp and that destroys their happy-go-lucky self-image. Here's an experiment. Let's mess up his experiment. Disassemble! You undo one of the stoppers and liquid begins to back up and pour out over your hand. You quickly restopper the flask and wipe your hand off into your pants leg, which you hope will not suddenly be eaten through. There's a cabinet. The cabinet contains some flask and beakers with scaly, built-up stains and furry stuff in the bottoms. None of it looks safe to handle, although some of it looks like it could crawl out under, under its own power. Mm, the assistant doesn't want to talk to us. There's another assistant here. Let's conduct an experiment. You're scarcely qualified. You're only a thug. Disassemble. You set about disassembling the experiment, but the way it's been interconnected leads you to believe that if you take anything out, the rest of it will come crashing down around you. Hide. We can hide in the cabinet. Like, that's gonna help. Any advantage you might get from hiding would be offset by the noise you'd make sitting on broken glass and shards of metal. Uh, nope. Nothing in, the ca nothing in that cabinet either. The assistant ignores you. It's an assistant. Alright. No help. No help. Let's see. Here's another one. It's an assistant. <laughs> the assistant ignores you. Alright. I, I sense a pattern. Here's a lab wipe. Uh, from the imprint on the little towel, you can see that it's a wipe and survive isotape absorbent towelette. It smells okay to you, but then again, you're not sure what radioactivity smells like. You pull the towelette out of the flask. Another one doesn't pop up. <laughs> Let's see, let me look. Can we, like, smother him? First, I'm gonna whack him over the head with the tire iron. There are better ways to control him than through the violent application of force. I have... Uh, chocolate? Please, I'm very busy. Don't give me any of your crap. This is not crap. It's like the finest chocolate. I'm gonna stick him with a dirty needle. Please, I'm very busy. Don't no. give me any of your... I'm gonna stab him with a pencil. Please, I'm very busy. Nope. I have this... 
fine set of sunglasses. Please, I'm very... I have a beanie. You turn the beanie on and aim it at Cecil. In his eyes, you see the beanie's lights strobing and sparkling. What do you think you're doing? Hypnotizing you. What? Yes, that can works? you hear me? Yes. I want you to focus on my voice. Yes. You are now <laughs> hypnotized. Uh, yes. Yes. You yes. are familiar with hypnosis. Yes. You already know that just because you're under hypnosis, I can't make you do or say anything that you don't want to. Yes. Well, I make want him you to pluck like a chicken. That you know that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's frightening. What do I do with him? I have him under my control, I guess. Talk to yes. Him. Uh, open Listen the door. to me carefully. I want you to open the biochamber door. I can't do that. Yes, you can. As I count to three, you will find yourself more and more willing to open the biochamber door. One. You are beginning to feel confident <laughs> that you can open the biochamber door. Two. You're picturing the biochamber door open, what it will be like when you get through opening it. Three. You are now completely able to open the biochamber. No, I'm not. Why do you think you can't? The doctor left very strict orders. I'm afraid he would kill me if I opened the door. That is strict. Let's see. Just stand, stand there quietly. Stand there very quietly. Don't get in my way and don't make any noise. He obeys your respect flawlessly. Okay, <laughs> that's that's not creepy at all. Here's a blackboard. Maybe we can look for something. We can erase it. We can slide it. Oh, the blackboard rumbles as you slide it to the right. Well, what do you know? A viatrazine neutralizer. It's right here. I don't think we should erase it. Let's look at it. Ah, so whatever viatrazine neutralizer is, it sounds like what you're looking for. But what's P3? I don't want to erase it. I'll, I'll save my game and then I'll try to erase it. Don't erase this. It looks like exactly what you've been looking for. P3. I'm not sure what that is. I can look at this blackboard slide. This bull. Oh, it's built in. Let's see. Excess. Okay. With Cecil's suggestibility turned up to full and his will turned down to minimum, he's putty in your hands. You walk right by him and take control of the Le Bail Chambre 4000. Okay, I'm gonna press some buttons here. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the... Judging from the lack of response, you haven't done anything to the bio chamber. Great. There's no clues! There's no clues as to how to do this! These buttons don't do anything. Nope. And again. Nope. And again. I... D is it literally, guys, I just started pressing buttons and it worked. I don't know. As the Labaya Chambre door hisses open, a man steps out. I don't even remember what I punched in to those buttons. I was literally just pressing them. You interrupted me. You are Jake Stonebender. And, oh, you've come a long way for nothing. And the sniveling little two-bit thief who provided you with my elevator code is going to be a very sorry little man. I'm not saying anything, because that man seriously frightens me. I was kind of like staring off for a moment. Let's talk to him. What should I do with you, Jake Medicine. Stonebender? <laughs> he looks like Riff Raff from Shock Treatment. Let's see... I'll make a deal with you. Are you listening? I didn't get to where I am by ignoring deals out of hand. What exactly do you have in mind? I want the neutralizer for my friend Al. I'll give you whatever you want. Oh, damn that blackboard. It takes a good deal of P3 to make the neutralizer, and I have none to spare. Although... What? I could take some from you. That would work. I 